In this segment, we're going to take a look at using the Create Text tool, and that's found here on the left-hand toolbar. And when I turn that tool on, we find some options under the Tool Options, and I guess the first one would be for font size, which is set at 0.89 of an inch. Um, I could change that to be, for example, one inch tall. Um, if you don't want to work in inches, by the way, I will show in a segment about the option settings how you can change your unit of measurement between inches, uh, like US and metric. So you choose your size, and you also have the ability to choose from a font. Now, this is based upon the fonts that are installed in your computer, so any font that you can install to work with your computer can be used with your embroidery. And so you can see I have quite a large list of fonts installed in my computer. And so really the possibilities are almost endless as far as what you could create when it comes down to um, lettering choices. Now, once you choose a font, if you want to start sort of creating your text, what you need to do is click on your workspace to place your text prompt. And so I'll just zoom in so you can see that. It's like a little flashing prompt. It says this is where you've decided to start your text. And you can change it to be wherever you want just by clicking. And then I need to start typing, so I'll type in my name Trevor and so we can see that I've got my size and my font I could also choose to apply like a bold or an italic to that and so those are kind of check boxes on and off and when I'm done creating this or I'm happy with it I would either I can click away which would allow me to start a new text word or if I wanted to choose the selection tool or some other tool I would I would be stop using the lettering tool so you can still modify this. So for example, this word Trevor here, I could click on it and then click on the text options again. And that gives me the ability to either change the font or the size. Um, or if I wanted to keep typing, I could easily change the font. So we can easily modify the text even after we've created it. Um, another option that I haven't shown yet is this abbreviations and the sort of smart text option. So smart text says when I use certain, when I type in certain symbols, I'll get a specific um, symbol or whatever, replacement. I'm going to show you what it looks like by turning on abbreviations and it brings up the abbreviations editor box. And so it says if I type in, you know, one slash two, I'll be replaced with a nice one slash two symbol and so that's what this is about using um, typing in things so for example a really simple example is to get a smiley face I could type in colon dash brackets and then it'll replace it with a smiley face or a TM or a registered trademark or a copyright so let's see what that and by the way we have the ability to create new abbreviations and edit the abbre abbreviations list so if you want to modify this you can now I'm gonna go ahead and close this and just see what it looks like so I'll type in colon and I'll type in dash and I'll type in brackets and it replaces it with a happy face so it can be as simple as that and my happy face can now be resized um, so that's basically what that's about that abbreviations and smart text option so yeah that's how you can create your own um, text objects using the text tool and then you can control them with the tool options